Here's how to import music into DaVinci Resolve 19. Just a quick warning before we get started, if you're making videos for YouTube or another video platform, you'll want to make sure that the music that you use is not copyrighted. If you use copyrighted music, you won't be able to make any money on that video, or you may get a copyright claim or strike against your channel. So just make sure that you're importing non-copyright music. If you got some money to spend, Epidemic Sound here is a good place to get some non-copyright music and sound effects. It has something like over 40,000 songs you can use, over 90,000 sound effects. It's where I go if I ever need background music, and it's used by like a ton of other full-time YouTubers. If you're interested in it, I'll leave a link to it down in the description with a free trial. Alright, so here I am in the Edit tab of DaVinci Resolve, and to go ahead and add our music, what you want to do is come to the top corner and click on File, then come down and select Import, and then click on Media right here. When you click on that, it's going to open up your file explorer. So you just want to go to the place where you have your music downloaded to. For me, it's just straight in my downloads folder. Here's the song right here at the top. And as you can see, it is a MP3 file. You want to either import an MP3 file or like a WAV file. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and then click on open. Once you import it, you should see it here in your media pool. Now all you got to do is drag it onto your timeline. Now if you're using this music as just some background music or something like that, you'll probably want to go ahead and turn the volume down on it a little bit. As you can see here in this track, there are some loud parts in it. So to turn down the volume, you just want to go ahead and click on it and either hover your mouse in like the middle of the wavelength here until you see this new cursor and then you can drag it down or you can come to the top corner and click on inspector and then turn the volume down right here. So that's pretty much how you import your music. If this video ended up helping you, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated.